asthma is common. It affects over 300 million people worldwide and in Australia it affects about 11% of the population. So that's 2.7 million people. It's a chronic condition that affects the airways in the lungs. It's what we call a heterogeneous disease, so it's typically characterised by inflammation of the airways. That can lead to narrowing of the airways and what we call variable airflow limitation, so people have difficulty breathing air out. And that can result in symptoms such as cough, wheeze, breathlessness, chest tightness, so typical respiratory symptoms. It's a chronic condition and it can affect all age groups, so kids, adolescents and adults. It can become quite debilitating, in particular people who have severe asthma and they can't carry out the usual activities of daily living due to these symptoms. When people have what we call flare-ups or exacerbations, these symptoms can become more intense more severe and happen with increased intensity. There's lots of different factors that contribute to people um, developing asthma, so genetics, uh, so people are born with it. Environmental factors, so uh, exposures to different types of allergens, so things like house dust, occupational exposures, um, also people developing infections that can uh, increase susceptibility of people who are prone to um, developing asthma uh, from, from getting it. The main step therapy for uh, asthma is inhaled therapy and it's usually a steroid based inhaled therapy that is used because what happens in asthma is the airways in the lungs become inflamed. So if you imagine um, an airway being like a tube, the wall of the tube or the airways becomes thickened so it narrows the airways and then that's what causes the symptoms. So people have difficulty breathing air through these narrowed tubes. What the treatment does is help uh, reduce the inflammation uh, in the airways to then open the airways up and allow people uh, to breathe or be symptom free. So th those are what we call um, preventer medications. There are what we call reliever medications and these uh, also inhaled therapies which help relieve symptoms when people have it. The important thing about asthma is that it is a chronic condition, but it's treatable. We don't yet have any cures for it, but if uh, patients are managing it well uh, by taking their treatments, they should be able to continue living their life like a normal person and not be limited by their asthma symptoms.